welcome to all the Herbalife Nutrition members from Europe and Africa. You are all all the way from Iceland down to South Africa. Fantastic. And joining me virtually today also, I've got Rodika in Romania and Russell in London. Hello. Hello. Hello there, Ra uh, Rachel. Hello. Hi, Rachel. Hi. <laughs> So I cannot tell you how excited I am here in Romania. See, we've prepared ourselves really seriously. Right, well uh, done. Russell, where is your, where is your chef's hat? Oh, okay. here it is, Radika. <laughs> I'm super excited about wearing mine. <laughs> okay, so Rachel, we are very happy to be here with uh, one of the most famous chefs in the uh, UK and Europe. And the only th uh, uh, thing I regret is that I'm not together with you in studio to be able to catch all your techniques and little secrets as uh, such an experienced uh, chef. How are you there, uh, uh, Russell, in the UK? Uh, Radhika, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that uh, puppies we've just had keep quiet, that children don't run into the room, <laughs> and somehow we get through this recording without any incidents. Uh, but actually, I'm really excited about this product. Uh, you know, this product has a long history in the making, and uh, we, we made years ago a soup, a tomato soup that everyone's aware of, which is a fantastic product but for various reasons didn't meet with the success that it deserved. And uh, we analyzed that situation and we decided that if we shall make a savory product like this, let's position it instead of a soup as a Formula One. Because there's so much more to a Formula One than just soup. Formula One is a complete meal with all the vitamins and minerals. Uh, you've got the proteins, you've got uh, everything that's in there that makes for a wholesome meal. And um, I'm really excited to see what happens with this as we launch it and what Rachel's going to share with us today. So, Russell, I propose to you that we get a little bit real, yes, and uh, start the show. So, Rachel, please tell us what is the surprise you have prepared for us today? Well, I'm very excited about this. I'm going to be showing you actually how to make a gourmet spread. And this is a variation of the gourmet spread from the Herbalife Nutrition Europe and Africa cookbook. But instead of using the gourmet tomato soup, I'm using the F1 savory mushroom and herb. So before I do that, I want to show you actually how to use this to make the meal just in the cup that you can drink as a soup. So what I've got here is I have got 250 mils of warm milk. So it's just warm, not hot, not boiling, because otherwise you'll kill off lots of the nutrition from the F1. So just warm milk, but if you want this to be vegan, and this is the wonderful thing about the F1 mushroom and herb, it is suitable for vegans. So you can use just a plant-based drink instead of just regular semi-skimmed milk. So I've got 250 mils of the warm milk, and I'm going to put that into the blender there. And I'm going to add in 26 grams, one serving, of the F1. There, one. And then blend it. And that's it. So of course you could add other things into this as well, but just for the simple, straightforward meal, this is what you can do. And this is, uh, this is very nice, Rachel, because you actually go all the way from very simple and basic to more sophisticated. So uh, uh, how is it? How is it, Rachel? How is the flavor? How is the texture? It's delicious. It's really creamy. It's a little bit thick, it's creamy. And the flavor is delicious. Very, very savory. It's got that lovely umami flavor. Um, so, and this is just it simply. As I said, of course you could add other things into it, but just like this, it's just lovely. So I'm also going to make the gourmet spread. So what I'm going to do for this is, here, I've got an egg. I've hard boiled this egg for 10 minutes. So I'm just going to crack the shell and peel it and chop it up because this is going to be stirred in to the gourmet spread at the end. Okay, so peel the egg like this. There, you can get ahead. And of course you can play around with this recipe, add different things in. You could add chopped tomatoes, you could add roasted peppers. You could really, really play around with it, but I'm going to show you exactly as it is now. It's, it's great uh, because we as uh, product committee members, we had the opportunity to, t to try the product before. And it's yes. actually incredible because you can have it. I had it for, for a quick lunch. I had it for a dinner. 
uh, it's really rich and creamy it has this incredible uh, flavor it is very comforting and I think that uh, uh, for the coming winter months is going to be a great great addition to our servings of the products during the day but also uh, a very very healthy choice handy and as you saw guys it's just taking a couple of seconds with a little bit of warm milk or uh, veg vegetable milk to uh, to uh, to prepare it a really nice creamy soup exactly and it's high in protein and fiber too natural flavors and great that it's good for vegans isn't it okay so here's the egg the chopped hard-boiled egg i'm just going to put that to the side because that's going to go into this bread at the end which is really delicious okay so that's there what i need to do now is to chop red onion and regular white onion because the bit of red onion just adds a lovely bit of sweetness and i'm also going to chop a couple of cloves of garlic and i'm going to cook them in some olive oil in a pan there okay so while i'm chopping these there so that must have been great radica just playing around with the the recipe when you got to actually test it out at first what else have you added into it what different things so uh yes i'm very very excited because i've tried the uh, the recipe and i decided to go with the things i have in the house and yeah. uh, luckily i had uh, almost everything in the house uh and, and the most important were the formula one and ppp actually uh, but uh, I didn't have chives, so I just cut a little bit of uh, uh, red onions. I added a, a little bit of parsley, and uh, I put a little bit of olive oil for the for the onions and the garlic, which had uh, which is uh, like a flavored uh, truffled oil. And uh, you know the recipe was for the six people. Unfortunately, by the time it was done, I ate uh, half of it. It is really delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so lovely because I'm going to be serving it today with the Nordic crisp breads, which I love from the book, the Herbalife Nutrition Europe and Africa cookbook. But I've also got some raw vegetables here to serve it crudite style. And of course, you could dip anything into it. You, you know, you could dip little tortilla chips or roasted sweet potato into it as well. And uh, by the time you are going to serve your uh, version, I will I will show you what I came uh, uh, with an idea of serving. Maybe this will inspire somebody else. Uh, you know what I love very much about this soup, and uh, uh, you know how important it is when you entertain, is actually, uh, especially for dinners, uh, it's not really, really suitable to serve a shake, you know? Uh, when, when you have some guests. But what I love about this soup is actually you can entertain and serve uh, your guests uh, along with other foods. If you have a dinner, for example, a perfect entree with this soup, which is really, 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 you know, exquisite and sophisticated. And it takes you just a couple of seconds to prepare. So because I love cooking, because I love to host uh, dinners and uh, receive friends and family, for me, this is a great recipe to go, but I will want a, a good starter of the dinner. And uh, what an uh, even conversation opener, you know, to talk about good nutrition. So yeah, I, I like it very much about it. So I've chopped the onion and the red onion and a couple of cloves of garlic, and I'm cooking them in a little bit of olive oil, tablespoon of olive oil on the heat here until they're just tender and even a little bit golden around the outside, you know, it's lovely. So while they're cooking, I'm going to chop the chili. I've just shaken the seeds out of the chili, or you could keep them in if you want a little bit more heat and then chop the chili. Okay, so while I'm chopping the chili, Russell, I'd love to hear from you. Tell me about the profile of the F1 mushroom and herb flavor. Um, Rachel, you know, it's actually uh, very interesting because it's a little different than our standard Formula Ones. And I've actually got both canisters here with me right now. Um, our regular Formula One has, uh, if you mix it in milk, um, 20 grams of uh, sugar per serving. Uh, whereas this product, this new uh, savory Formula One, when you mix it in milk, uh, only has 13 grams uh, of which 12.4 12 12 grams actually comes from the milk, the, the lactose itself. So it's literally got almost, it's almost sugar free, um, which is very interesting because so from time to time we do get feedback from people uh, saying that they want a product that's less sweet uh, yeah. and, and they want a product with less sugar in it. And this is ideal for those people. 
I think that's just brilliant. I think um, having mushroom as a flavor just works so well because it's just so versatile. You know, I imagine you could put it into sauces for pasta, you could put it into a shepherd's pie. It's just such a wonderful, versatile, savory flavor, isn't it? It is, and uh, yet, you know, when I tried it, I was shocked at how, how pleasant it was, uh, better than pleasant, amazing it was in milk, because I just wasn't expecting to mix mushroom in milk. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I guess you, you get cream of mushroom soup, so that's pretty mm, common. So mm. I don't know why I felt that way, but the taste is just fantastic, I feel. Mm. Yeah, exactly, and also, like you said, uh, Rachel, I, I agree uh, very much, this is very versatile. I mean, even to do the spread like that, what an idea. I think the idea is just brilliant and, and, and adds up so much uh, options, because for us, always during the day, it's important to have a healthy snack. And that one is just like a very healthy snack you can have on the go, you can have it in, fridge, in the fridge, you can have it for a couple of days, so it, it goes like a batch cooking. So for two or three days, you can have a really nice snack uh, on the go, and I like about this spread that, that you are making today. Yeah, have it in the tub, in the fridge. So I've just turned off the heat under the onions and the garlic, and now I'm going to put into the food processor a couple of tablespoons of water there. And then I'm going to put in 26 grams, one serving, of the F1. One, two, and also there, two servings, this 12 grams of PPP. There, there, okay, and then also some nuts. I'm using almonds, some chopped almonds, but pecans, hazelnuts would all work really well. Walnuts, there we go. Almonds are going in. And then give it a little blend. Yeah, this is adding a little bit of texture and also extra yeah. nutrition, which is great, yeah. Really good, exactly, exactly. So there, that's in there. Just scrape down the sides as it's blending and then add in now the chili as much as you like. You can leave the chili out if you prefer. But then also, you know, this is great fun because you can then start to experiment by adding in some crushed cumin, you could add in some paprika, some smoked paprika, really play around with the flavors. As I said, because the mushroom is just so versatile, it takes lots of other flavors. So some chili I've got in there. I'm going to chop some chives. I didn't have chilies, for example, so I had, uh, mine was without it. Lovely, lovely, which is also delicious. There. So chives are going to go in and I'm going to put yogurt in in a moment, but I just want to blend up the onions and the garlic because I don't want to add the yogurt in while the onions and garlic are really, really hot. So blend that. So this product is such a great addition uh, 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 for the, for example, for a weight loss program, you know? because the uh, people who are on a weight loss program are always looking for something to bite, uh, for something to snack. And a lot of them have a history of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, habits of bad, of bad snacking. Uh, so whether this is a, a comforting uh, uh, food or it is just a snack on the go, for somebody who is looking to control the weight, this product is absolutely brilliant. Okay. And that is it. So I'm going to put it in here, and then I'm going to stir in the chopped hard-boiled egg. But look at the texture of that. That's lovely. So use it as you would a pate. As I said, as a dip, spreading it on crackers. Yeah, for example, a lot of people would go and, and try to snack on, on some uh, uh, peanut butter, you know? But in comparison with peanut butter, this one has uh, some lesser calories and it's uh, much more uh, uh, complete as a, as a nutritional profile. Stir the chopped hard boiled egg. Chop some more chives. Radhika, I think one of the things that's worth mentioning is that because of the savory flavor, we, we'll, get, we'll see a lot more people use this uh, as lunch or an afternoon snack or even an evening snack um, yeah. than our sweet flavors it's potentially. It's a good point. And also for somebody who doesn't look to, uh, to uh, lose weight, you know, somebody who has a healthy weight. This is such a, an appealing flavor 
and uh, uh, it's not even you know it, it, even the, the the objection of being a shake uh, uh, it, it can be overruled because it's it's not a shake it's a soup it's a creamy soup it's a completely different uh, uh, texture and the way it's looking so for them the fact that this is natural that can be taken as a dinner option which is savory is such a, a beautiful uh, proposition yes Rachel please tell us so this is it and here are the Nordic crisp breads break a little bit and spoon it out you can if you like push it into the fridge for half an hour well done have you made some too yes i made my <laughs> recipe is that the bit that's left over that you haven't eaten <laughs> yes yes and i came with another serving suggestion because i was thinking oh, yeah? how i could do it to entertain and uh, i found some cups like this i bought uh, the store bought and just put inside and i think they go perfectly to even a sophisticated meal if you want to impress uh if we want to impress and now i'm going to do the same like all the chefs are doing on tv i'm going to try it we're going to come to your house mm. Absolutely <laughs> russell have you made it <laughs> no i haven't <laughs> <laughs> i wish i could feed you russell i'm on it i'm on it <laughs> you guys have motivated me <laughs> oh good i really really hope that everyone will give this a try and of course play around with the other recipes in the book putting in the f1 mushroom and herb into other recipes that's the thing that you can do it in the beetroot hummus actually it would work really well too lots of the recipes in here the f1 mushroom will work really well so just to recap guys this product is absolutely unbelievable whether you want to lose weight or you're just looking for a healthy alternative meal or snack or you are an athlete and a very active uh, person uh, you can have it in absolutely uh, 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 different times of the day in different forms you can mix it with ppp to strong uh, uh, to, to have a, a little bit more proteins you can um, uh, mix it with better heart and again have a, a, a even better nutritional profile don't forget that this is a gluten-free uh, product this is a product great for the vegetarians and vegans so uh, uh, all our products are incredible but for me this one uh, is just standing apart for all these various reasons starting from the flavor texture versatility and also of course the possibility to have a very nutritious solution even in different situations in your life absolutely and radika not to forget when it's made up uh, as per the label the 19 grams of protein five grams of fiber uh, and only um, 12 grams of sugar very little sugar as i said less than one gram is in the powder itself in the in the formula one yeah Thank you so much, Radhika and Russell. And that was really interesting and great to hear about the profile and, and how it came about. And I think it's going to be really, really popular. I think everyone is very excited about it. And for Thanks, me personally, it, it was a great experience to, to be together with you on this show. Uh, actually, you know, I just watched you in uh, different video clips. I have your book, <laughs> I have cooked many, many recipes. So for me, the chance to be together with you in my kitchen and pretend I'm a chef too, was a very very nice experience thank well, you for thank that you and thank so you for the much. recipe thank you for the recipe it's absolutely <laughs> delicious great and thank you everyone bye